people ask, you know, what should you do when you go to Copenhagen? The answer is I really don't know, but I do know what I would do in Copenhagen. And the first thing would be rent a bike. There's no better way to see a city in Europe than by bike. So if you are a tourist in Copenhagen, you should definitely rent a bike. I think it's, it's stupid to take like the public uh, transportation. There's bike lanes all over the city basically, so it's so much easier. Most hotels have bikes for rent and there are rental shops throughout the city. The cost, relatively inexpensive, about 12 US dollars a day. But where to go on your bike, you ask? The first thing we're seeing for all you Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg fans. You can go see Christiania, kind of like a hippie community within the city. So they're different because they <laughs> sell weed on the streets and all of the houses are built by the people who live there. They don't pay taxes or anything like the rest of the people living in Copenhagen does. Or you could just say no to drugs and check out the Louisiana Museum, just a short ride out of the city. And then there's Tivoli. Tivoli is a place everyone goes. It's the second oldest theme park in the world. It's gorgeous. It has beautiful gardens and flowers. It's just a nice place to go. And with the $15 entrance fee, it's a relatively inexpensive attraction. For foodies, Copenhagen has been a popular destination for one reason and one reason alone, Noma, the number one restaurant in the world. Everyone is not going to get a table at Noma, but the odds of you getting in there really don't exist. But here's some good news. There are several other amazing places to eat. Uh, there's Geranium. You can go to Kado. A place called Müller uh, Coffee. It's based on uh, go and eat breakfast the whole day. They have breakfast from around 9 to 5, I think. You can go to cafes and have coffee, which is what all the local people do. I like to go to a place called uh, Bang & Jensen, which is in the area where I live. You could also check out one of the local markets for some pastries, seafood, artisan breads or fromage. Things I wouldn't do in Copenhagen. One thing I wouldn't do is come here without money. This is an expensive city. If you don't have money, don't come here. Take your to Barcelona or somewhere where you can get around in the Euro because this is not a cheap place. Hotels are expensive, food is expensive, shopping is expensive, so don't come here broke. There's so many things to do, so much culture here, so much heritage. Why waste your day shopping for clothes? You know, there's a Gucci store in Los Angeles. You know, there's a Prada store in New York. I would also not waste time going to see The Little Mermaid. I just wouldn't waste my time. It really is underwhelming. There's two more though for you. Two more? <laughs> I also would not drink Gamel Dance. It tastes disgusting. I just wouldn't have a beer, have a cocktail. There are really great bars here. Copenhagen, a place definitely worth checking out. Come, bike, smoke weed, eat. Just make sure whatever you do, you have a good time.